Hello, my dear friends. In this video, we will talk about love. I will talk about what is love, why do we want it so desperately, and how to get it. So, what is love? Love is a feeling. Wow, Sabrina, that was profound. <laughs> Seriously, love is a feeling like sadness, anger or joy. Okay, if love is just a feeling, then why am I so obsessed with it? I'm not obsessed with sadness, for example. I never say I want to feel sad right now, but I always want to feel love. Why is that? To understand that, I must first answer the question, what feelings actually are? So what are feelings? Feelings are an indicator of how strongly we are connected to our inner being and how much life energy we allow to flow through us. The stronger the connection, the bigger the flow of life energy, the better the feeling. Okay, I know everything just got super complicated. Let me explain. Beside water and food, to live we also need life energy. We can't see it, but we can feel it. And when this life energy flows through us, we feel love. I could say that life energy that we feel as love is a fundamental substance for our survival. Without it, we start to feel bad, even depressed. And in time, our bodies become ill. Life energy is giving us life. And that is why we feel such need for it. Like when you are thirsty, you have to drink water to survive. Okay, so life energy is a basic need of every human being. How do we get it? When we are thirsty, we drink water. When we are hungry, we eat food. What do we do when we need life energy? Before I continue, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I put out a video like this every Saturday. Okay, how do we get life energy? How do we get love? The wrong perception that we have as humans is that Love comes from another human being. Therefore, even as a small children, we learn how to manipulate our parents for attention and love. And that is also one of the biggest reasons why our relationships don't go smoothly later in life. We think that love comes from our partner and that is partner's job to give us love. But it's not good to count on others' love because then you become dependent on others and that costs you freedom. And why would we do that if we have a perfect ability to feel love every moment of our lives independently? It's not logical or practical. So how to feel love? Like I said before, love comes from the connection with our inner being, with our energy source. The stronger the connection, the better the feeling. So how to connect with our inner being, with our energy source? We connect with our inner being when we relax and think positive thoughts. When we trust that all is well. When we are interested in something or carefree and happy. We connect to our inner being when we feel good. So. Ask yourself, what makes you feel good? What makes you feel relaxed, happy and carefree? And then do that as often as possible. I do things like walking in the forest or hiking in the mountains. I learned how to make myself happy. I learned how to make myself feel good. I learned how to think positive thoughts predominantly. I helped myself with meditation and writing. I trained myself to seek for things to appreciate in my life and focus on them. I trained myself to find a feeling of love and other good feelings like happiness and joy. Love is a feeling. 
Yeah, love is just a feeling. And you can feel it whenever you want. But to feel love, you have to think a good feeling thoughts. I can also give you a quick trick that works very well as well. When you think positively about your partner, when you appreciate your partner, you will feel love flow through you. So the trick is give love and you will feel love. Okay, beside my tricks, I also have a beautiful guidebook with nine exercises with which you can help yourself to feel good and find connection with your inner being and with your source. I use these exercises on a daily basis and they truly help me to feel love. I will put the link in the description below if you are interested in it. Okay, my dear friends, that is it for today. I hope you found something interesting and helpful in today's video. I am very passionate about this topic, as you can probably see. Okay, I love you. See you next Saturday.